welcome to this week's science experiment. It's time for a science experiment. For this experiment, you're gonna need some water, some vinegar, and a couple of these. What we wanna do first is take a little bit of vinegar and fill up one jar. Take some regular old water, fill up your other jar. Now we're gonna drop an egg into each one. And after seven days, we're gonna see what happens to these eggs. First thing I wanna point out here is that I notice that the one in the vinegar starts to float and the one in the water sinks. That's very interesting. We have one here, which is kind of looking kind of funny. One there, one there. What the heck is going on in that one? This one looks normal. What the heck? What the heck? So we got some, some action going on here. This is so interesting. Eggs. Hmm, what the heck is going on there? Is it looking any different to y'all? I can't tell. Morning guys, checking the eggs. Looking interesting. So the egg that has been in vinegar for the past seven days has kind of started to uh, fizz and the shell has started to break off of it. What happens here is the acid from the vinegar dissolves the calcium carbonate that's in the shell. And so now it's kind of just flaking off the little pieces that are on there as I touch it. So I've got a little time lapse shot that you guys can check out just to see how the egg looked as it was breaking down. It took a picture every hour for the seven days that we let this experiment go on for. Now let's take the egg out. The regular egg that's in water and you notice that nothing has changed with it. It just stayed the same. So I got a little bowl here and let's take this egg out. As we can see, the egg is now kind of bouncy. It's still a little messy, so I'm gonna go clean it off real quick. So here's our egg and it actually has the consistency of a bouncy ball. You can act, oh gosh, was not expecting that to happen. This is really cool too. This is the sheath, basically, that was around the egg that just came right off. Let's take a look at the yolk. Nope, it's, it's still pretty runny. I was surprised that it bust as, as easily as it did. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to have a little bit more of a bounce to it. And here we have our egg that was just in the water. You can tell that it's just a regular old egg. It's still a very hard shell because the water doesn't have any acids in it to uh, break down the shell of it. I can crack it right open. Just like that. This is our sheet from the egg that was sitting in the vinegar. So this was a very interesting experiment to do because I honestly thought that it would be a little bit different. I thought that it would actually have more of a bounce to it, more bouncy ball-like. I guess now that I think about it though, the acid eating away the shell part of the egg makes sense for it to be more frail because now all it has is that little protective sheath and not the real protection of the hardness of the egg. And it was really interesting to actually see the little membrane of the egg as opposed to just the entire shell. So question of the videos, have you guys ever done this experiment before? And did it turn out the same way as this one did? Did the egg still bust pretty easily? I'd be interested to know. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this science experiment. If you did, make sure to hit that old subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And give this video a good old thumbs up and save it to your favorites. You guys are awesome. Aw, oh, shiggity shank my biggity back. And also, I am a daily vlogger. If you want to check out me on a day-to-day -day basis, I make a video every single day 
uh, at youtube.com slash the funny rats. I'll put a link down in the doobly doo. If you want to check that out, and make sure to give the old subscribe button too. I'd appreciate it. It may not mean anything to you, but it means something to me. It would be really, 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 really awesome if you could help me out by clicking it and subscribing.